Hey, hey everyone. <laughs> I'm Kyle Eilerman. And I'm Missy Laplace. And this is We Watch Winchester. Yeah, it's where one fan that's me and this guy. Me the is, noob. Yeah. <laughs> me the noob. There he is. I don't, we react over there. to uh, a very, very, very popular cult classic known as Supernatural. It is. It is so popular, you guys. It really is. And we are like uh, just over halfway uh, through season seven. We'll get there. <laughs> just over? We're pretty, we're, we're over. We're over. Not just over. We're over. Yeah. We're well over. Today's episode is called, I don't know. <laughs> no, it is called The Born Again Identity. I yeah. love these titles. Yeah. Some of them are song titles. Some of them are pop culture references. So I'm hoping we're going to get some Matt Damon references. Yeah, and that's one thing that you've always said when it's like a movie title. You're like, I really hope we get the star of the movie. I don't expect to get Matt Damon appearing, <laughs> although although Matt Damon has always found ways to surprise me. So you never know with him. He well, might hey, actually show up in this series. There you go. Maybe, maybe. But if nothing else, I do think we are getting some form of childbirth. Christian church or something, okay. something akin to like maybe what we had with like that cult episode with um, Darla in it way, way, way back when. You know? Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Cool. That's my guess. That's my right. theory as to what is going to happen Your in this episode. Fan theory? Yeah. My fan theory is Matt Damon is a priest. <laughs> I love that. I love that for us. Great. Let's see. Yeah. No, that's not his name. Dude, get the hell away from me. You speak friggin' English? Go away. It's okay. No one's after me. Why are you running up in here like that? <laughs> the hell did you take anyway? This guy. This guy looks Nothing. like somebody. Shut up. No, he's telling the truth. Burned through that last beer hours ago, right about the time Dean passed out. Come on, Sam, tell the nice tweaker. You'd be sleeping by now if the devil would just leave you alone for five seconds. Oh, we're going here with Stupid this episode, Satan. okay. Chasing you all the way to... What way the hell are we? Uh. Oh, wait, scratch that. Fine. Yeah, he does look like he's tweaking. Uh. Hey, hold up, wait, well, hold up. You want to knock out? I can knock you out. Oh boy. We went from one addiction to another addiction with him. Yeah. That's where this is going, for sure. Okay, now what was that? Good morning to you. You do get that you're just bringing free drugs to the party, right? I am inside you, Sam. At least he got a little sleep. Hey, Sam, <clears throat> what's the longest a normal human Not being enough. has ever gone without sleep? 11 days. <laughs> I actually can feel it. He's on our locked psychiatric floor. Yeah. Pull up a six pack, buddy. Wonder Thank if you. he could just drown out the noise with more noise. Fight. Keep that sense of humor, Sam. Just Get oversaturate the noise with more noise so that you can't even make him out. And maybe Sam, I'm gonna find you help. Eventually he'll be able to sleep. When you put my soul back, no. Cass warned you about all the crap it would do. Screw Cass. I love how clever Quit this is. Quit being Dolly freaking Yoda about this, okay? Get pissed. That's why he didn't die right away. It's because <sighs> it's, too it's an eventual death. Because it's going to get to you eventually. This is what happens when you throw a soul in Lucifer's dog bowl. And you think there's just going to be some cure out there. Oh, you guys are having a moment. Just keep eating. It's not there. You know it's not there. I can't. Ugh. It's the worst. It's a real deal. What do you mean? He touched me. My eye was fixed. Look, I don't believe in much and don't suck your blood, but I wouldn't call you on a maybe. This is even more reason why this season wouldn't work with that cast. You want this or not? Thanks. Uh. Marin. No problem. Sam, right? I'm Sam. And of course 
she's from Magicians uh, because uh, Daphne, friggin' um, the uh, showrunner for Magicians is the same as this one. Ah, everything makes sense. Daphne's resting, if you don't mind. Now I oh, really sorry. gotta see the Magicians. I didn't know all that. Sarah Gamble, yeah. Um, wow. I think that's why I liked I it. I was so hoping. Much. Uh... Oops. You know, I think twice. Why don't you know that your boss issued a hands off memo? <laughs> Please. What have you done for him lately? Roman's head on a plate? Whatever Emmanuel is, Crowley's gonna want him. A lot more than he wants you these days. So. Who that? <gasps> was that? How? This you season wouldn't true. work without cast this is why it wouldn't work and then of course okay. the show in this weird season being what it is they're like here's gas i'm emmanuel which sounds there very biblical d thank you for protecting my wife mm -hmm. your wife right you saw the demon's true face emmanuel has very yeah he does because he's an angel well. yeah I, emmanuel <laughs> that you can heal people up i seem to need your help to a certain clearly degree. what's your issue my brother. A few months ago, she was hiking by the river, and I wandered into her path, drenched and confused, and I had no memory. She said God wanted her to find me. Who is it? Like Charlie Manson or the devil? Good guess. Kinda. I hear a voice. Is that why you set the fire? Who told you that? No one. It, it burns, right? I didn't set the fire. He did. You are crazier than I am. Charles Manson tells you what to do. At least it's my own brother. It sucks when it's your dead brother oh. saying, kill yourself to be with oh, him. Oh, that's so terrible. Or he'll do it for you. What's his diagnosis? <clears throat> it's not exactly... Why don't you just medical. tell him the truth? That should be fine. I can well. cure illness of a spiritual origin. Spiritual? You're angry. Oh. Yeah. You broke my brother's head. He betrayed you, this dude. Oh. He was your friend? Yeah, well, he's gone. Did you kill him? What Cass did? I just can't. I don't know why. Well, it doesn't matter why. Of course it matters. No, you're not a machine, Dean. You're human. Your friend's name was Cass. It's an odd name. Emmanuel, you son of a bitch! <gasps> oh, Emmanuel, yeah, my not so much. God. Yeah. Dean, 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 you got some explaining to do. Oh, and I love her version. So, Dean, what's poor dead Castiel doing in that junker out there? Christmas caroling. Fun, but how's he alive? Last I heard, he played God. Went poof. <laughs> I love her know. so much. And neither does he, so you gotta keep it shut. <laughs> oh, I do. Been watching you for hours. So here's the deal. You might remember Crowley and me were frosty back in the day. <laughs> well, times haven't changed. Good. That hurts my feelings. I've been good to you, Dean. Oh. No, you've been good to you, sweetheart. It's cold out here. There's a price on my ass, and I need friends. Yeah. Because I'm here to help you, and that makes us friends. Help? You mean see if you can't turn harmless little Cass out there into an angel-sized weapon? Like you are taking him caroling. And by the way, you really want to keep going with no backup? Hey, I don't trust you either, but I could really use a manual, and he trusts you. So for now, it's in everyone's best interest to hold hands and cross the street together, okay? <laughs> we go straight to Sam. No detours. Love it. Her face, she's it's one okay. of... It's okay, we come in different flavors. <laughs> she's, uh... I love her so much. Your friend. Meg, just here for moral support. I mean, after all, we go way back. Dean and me. Just met you, of course. <laughs>
All right, can we go? God. Your brother, when did he pass? Uh, last year. And you see him? So, he just talks to you. And he started to get mad, and one day he started yelling, and I tried to run, but the door was locked, and when I turned around, the whole room was on fire. Uh, I barely got out. I can put your brother to rest. He's stuck here. For real? Like... Like, he's a ghost. So, your brother, was he cremated? Buried? We cremated him. And do you have anything of his? He made it for me. With a busted hand, too. Sliced it open doing stupid archery. He bled on it. Probably. Good, that's, that, that's good. Why is that good? One more question. Is there any chance in hell you got a lighter? This silence is very uncomfortable. Is there something I should know? Yeah. I don't know. Dean? No. Nice. Where'd you score that? Grabbed it out of Marcus's pocket. Being locked up is really turning me into a decent criminal. <laughs> Moment. Dizzy thing. Stay with me in the circle. No matter what. No matter what happens, okay? What's gonna happen? Give me the bracelet. Oh, wow. He was right. Holy crap. That's amazing. Mary, don't do this. Please. Mary, give me the bracelet. I'm so sorry. I have to. You, you gotta go. Go. Thank you. Potential for overdose is too great. Oh, we God. We need to talk about surgical solutions. Surgical? Ooh, lobotomy? It's okay, we're not talking lobotomy here. Darn. Damn it, demons. And you want to tell him and just hope that he takes it in stride? He could snap, he could disappear, who knows? I gather we know each other. Mm. Just a dollop. Just a dollop. You can tell me and I'll be fine. <laughs> How do you know? Everything she says. You just met yourself. I've known you for years. You're an just angel. Met yourself. I'm sorry. Is that a flirtation? No, it's a species. A very powerful one. She's not mine. Okay, that's why you heal people. You don't eat. I'm sure there's more. Why wouldn't you tell me? Being an angel, it sounds pleasant. It's not, trust me. <laughs> sounds pleasant. It's bloody, it's corrupt, it's not pleasant. You would know. You used to fight together. Bestest friends, actually. Bestest friends. We're friends. Am I Cass? I don't remember you, I'm sorry. Look, you got the juice. You can smite every demon in that lot. I love that word, smite. Mm -hmm. That is what he can do. But I don't remember how. It's in there. I'm sure it's just like riding a bike. As long as it really is Cass, which we assume I don't know it how is. I do that either. Looks a lot like Jimmy Novak. So. All right, I'll try. This ain't gonna go well. I don't know. I believe in the little tree topper. <laughs> She's so. I want to put her in a in a. I want to just, like carry her around. Like I just, I just love her so much. Oh, and he's retaining memories as he does this. That's crazy. All these people. I shouldn't be here. Cass. Cass! You stay here. Cass! Yeah, she's gonna listen. What do you say, Sam? He's a demon. Let's get that head strapped in. Yep. If you remember, then you know you did the best you could at the time. Don't defend me. So what? I deserved to die. So why did I even walk out of that river? Maybe to fix it. Wait. That's right. Yay! You should take those legs. So bad. We need this. Well, if it's meat, you can cook it. He's gonna. You should never have broken your wall, Sam. I'm here to make it right. Is he really? He's really gonna fix it this easily? So sorry. Be 
piece has got crushed to dust by whatever's happening inside his head right now. I'm sorry. This isn't a problem I can make disappear. This is our ticking time bomb for the season. I know that. But I may be able to shift it. Shift? Yeah, it would get Sam back on his feet. I'll be fine. Who cares? What are you doing? Now, Sam, this may hurt. I'm sorry I ever did this to you. Shift it to him? Sam? Sam! Hello, brother. <laughs> this is not exactly yay. Everything on the planet's out for us, okay? Word gets out. We can't protect him. Mutually assured destruction. Look, man, I get it. She's not our friend. We don't even have friends. All our friends are dead. <laughs> Well, you certainly have experience. Uh, I'm impressed. Tell me, why do you want to join our staff? Well, I really just want to help the patients. Watch over them. Not to be immodest, but I feel I'd make a great fit. I can't argue with that. Welcome to the team, Nurse Masters. Ah, that was a fantastic episode. That was that was a golden episode, is what that was. Yeah, I mean, it was great that Cass was back. Mm -hmm. Clearly, Cass is not dead for good, so that's something. I like that this has not been resolved because I thought that would have been way too easy. And not to mention, it would have been a little weird if Sam had just kind of gone back to not remembering certain things again. And then they'd have to keep this whole secret thing going on again. And I'm not a big fan of that. Right. So I'm glad they didn't just recycle what's been done already. And I'm also, even though I was hopeless when Cassius couldn't get rid of Lucifer from within him or hide him or block him, whatever... I wasn't disappointed by that. I mean, I was disappointed because it was like, oh, how are they going to deal with this? But I was also like, it's too early to make this go away for good. This is too big of an event. And that's something mm -hmm. this season needs to work on is not just fixing a problem right away because you're not going to have much storytelling if you just keep fixing your problems. Got to let them linger a little bit or else, you know, nothing to keep us compelled to keep watching. Uh, it's like, okay, well, that's resolved. Oh, okay, well, that's resolved. This was resolved, but not really. And so right. was this was a golden episode. It was resolved and then introduced a new problem as well. But it was still connected to the old one. So I right, liked right. it a lot. Right. Yeah. Well, and, and also introduced a new problem too, though, in the way that like, now that Castiel's back and he's got, he's got his memories back, but then he's also, you know, going to be a problem if demons ever find him. And he's... It's sort of, you know, he's safe in this mental ward, but um, Meg knows he's there and maybe is going there to protect him. Um, I guess. That's true. I don't know, yeah. but if demons ever find out he's there, that's going to be yeah. an issue, you know? I mean, it is interesting. I don't really know Meg's full agenda. It, right. it does often confuse me a lot. Right. Um... Yeah, at this point we don't really know what she's what she's trying to do. She's trying to avoid Crowley. We know that much. Um, she's trying to get some people on her side because Crowley is not happy with her. Um, but that's that's really it. We don't really know a lot about what she's wanting to do. Yeah, I mean, I love her, but yeah, right. She's so fun, super snarky. Yeah, she's got great I'm, lines. I'm hoping she really does. She's got great lines, and she is such perfect delivery on those lines like she is just yeah the most charismatic character in this entire series like she is just so witty and great and i yeah. love her and i want her so to fun. stay forever and ever and ever yeah she's super fun. she's super fun <laughs> all i can think is she's there because deep down she had the hots for castiel and so she's <laughs> like yeah this Clarence. way i can see my boyfriend from time to time <laughs> Right. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> totally. That's it. I'm a little worried about his wife. Right. That was not resolved. Mm -mm. Hi. I protected you. I'm going to take your husband with me, and we mm -hmm. are never, ever coming back. Wasn't he married prior? Like, not he, but the body that 
Jimmy Novak. Castiel and Ahab. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And that body was married, right? Yes. And had a daughter. Oh, God. This show is just ruining people's lives left and right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ruining them or taking them. But, yeah. you know, I mean, that's awful. That poor, that poor girl. That, Claire Novak. Those, those poor wives. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> But boy, what an unexpected surprise. Yeah. This episode started off super depressing. I was like, Missy, with all the negative vibes in my life right now, this is this this might be a show it's gonna be hard for me to keep watching for a minute here. You don't need to be in a psych ward right now. Yeah, I know. I know. It's yeah, great. I had to take I had to take a break from Torchwood for that very reason, even though I knew it was kind of going in the direction I wanted, which is why I was scared to keep watching, because right. I was afraid based on what people were telling me that it was just going to get much worse and I knew I couldn't handle it so we had to take a break from it in the middle of the season my apologies to those of you who are Torchwood fans who were watching my reactions I'll get back to them someday anyway point is I took a break from it this is a show I don't want to take a break from but the start of this episode I was like dude this is getting to me too much yeah this is getting I'm uh, I'm feeling sick from the yeah. From the from the empathy I feel for Sam in this episode. Yeah. And now I feel for Cassius. And now I do for Castiel. Um, it's been a long time since being on the show. I don't say his off his name yeah. as frequently. I, I kind of right? thought he was gone. So Yeah, and that's what you're supposed to think. And and funny thing enough about this episode, they didn't have much time for Sam and Dean to have their one of their little chats at the end because there was no need for it. We had enough going on here. We yeah. didn't need all that access. Yeah, they only had a little bit of time to chat. And I mean, most of the time they were separated. So. It wasn't like this fully, you know, deep conversation like it often is. So gold standard episode. This one stands out at probably as my favorite of this season. Um, yeah, I know. It's a really good one. I agree. It's I, I agree. I think it's a, probably my favorite favorite so far of the season. Too. And it doesn't just need to be a flashback episode, but... Yeah, um, you know, like a callback, a reunion episode. Right. But it helps. <laughs> that was good, though. It was really good. It was good. Good. And it was super. Naturally. You know, I feel like with my height and look, I could easily pass poor Jensen's brother. You know? You're definitely not Jared Padalecki, but um, we don't have time for this. Subscribe, stay so- notified, and head over to Patreon and do the thing. Yeah, ah! and the link down there. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>